It's so pretty. I haven't even started yet. It's so pretty. Now, I had intended to play this in English, but I, I got my copy a few days early, and the English patch hasn't actually been uh, released yet, so I have to play it in Japanese. So apologies. I mean, you might not care, but I was going to play this in English to make it easier to, you know, understand, but whatever. Oh, we're right in there. Am I... No, no, it's still in cutscene. I always get confused when a character stands still. I always think, am I supposed to... Am I supposed to be controlling this character? But no, she's... She's got a, a start option on her... Um, oh, what do they call that section of the thigh? The absolute... Zero... Or absolute, what's it called? The absolute zone or something? It's the gap between the skirt and the socks. Absolute territory. Absolute territory. Now I know. And now you know. And we're all worse off. There are two parts of this game. There's the, uh, there's a visual novel part where you play, which looks like the bit that we just saw, where it's like a 2D characters running around talking to each other and doing things. And then there's this bit. I have very little interest in this bit. I, I don't really care about the mech part. I just want the site 2D bit. Unfortunately, you have to play this bit to get to the 2D bit, but you know, it's fine. Is she naked in there? Of course she is. You can't be in a mech and not be clothed. What do you think this is? Power Rangers? Or Ava? Or Gundam? Or Nadesco? Or Gurren Lagan? Oh wait! They were naked briefly in Gurren Lagan, actually. My point is... She's naked. I like, though, that despite the fact that she's naked, the flower on her, in her, behind her ear remains. So it's like, yes, I am naked, but this flower defines me as a character and therefore can stay. It's like, okay, how does that work? So now I have action, multi-rocket launchers, and then I want to hit all of these, and also all of the surrounding buildings, I guess? Collateral damage, it's fine. I got them! And also, you know, hopefully there was no one in those buildings. Look, it's another new child. Hooray! It's fine. They're all third year high school students, therefore they're all 18, therefore it's not creepy. The thing is, I wouldn't mind this bit quite so much if you could, if they actually, like, modelled the mechs and you could... Like, and you could see the mech running over and punching and, and punching the, the, the monsters. But what you get is just like a little blue circle moving around and loads of triangles. Like, in co contrast to the rest of the game, it's really not pretty. Like, the rest of this game is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I have to play as Juro. I don't... I The other... So, I, I, I bought this game... Almost exclusively for this section, but I got this almost exclusively for one character. Uh, there's there's one other character I do like, but there's one character I love because he's my favourite kind of character in um, anime and manga. So hopefully we get to him before too long. Class one B. Okay, no, we're not third year students. We're first year students, which means we're either fifteen or sixty, which means it is creepy. Cool. Look at this. Just look at how pretty it is. Look at the the, the the god rays move! It's a... Oh. Can I just leave? Nope, I can't leave, okay. Can I look the sleepy girl here? Oh, I can... Well, that's... It's not what you want, is it? Why, why can I move through the desks? That doesn't feel... I can just go all the way back as well. Look at this. I feel like there should be something to stop me. <laughs> What's up with you? Yeah, what is up with me? I'm freaking freaking face shifting through my classmates. Like, this game's still beautiful, but this does detract. And yeah, you could argue I don't have to do this, but it's given me the option. Now I'm in your way. What can you see now other than my face? 
<laughs> the girl in front of us is just like, can you guys go and talk somewhere else? I'm looking at my thumb. Mmm. Look at my thumb. Look close, far away. Close, far away. The nurse was office in the high school. This is normally where sexy things happen. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I go to the nurse's office and just look around and go, drugs, huh? Ah, yep, yeah, told you, sexy times. Let's go. Do you get naked when you get in a robot? I appreciate the help. Can you put the papers over here for me? My hands are full, as you can see. Hey, hey, boing, boing. I'd just like to see you turn around. I wanted to talk to this man. Oh, fine. Look, you can't blame me for making a, a you know, a, a, a world this pretty and then telling me, tell me off for, look, for exploring it a little bit, alright? I like looking at it. It's nice. I seem awfully calm about this. I know I would probably be freaking out a little bit more if... Oh, there's my star. Oh, it's a... It's on different... It's on different parts of the body depending on... The person. <laughs> oh, imagine... Imagine the one guy who's got it just like on their gooch or something. It's just like, I need to activate my robot. Go! And it's like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, no, no, that's just, that's where my on button is. I'm sorry. It's just, damn these tight school trousers. And start. There we go. Now I need to wash my hands real quick. And then we'll get in my mech. Oh, she's running with toast in her mouth. This is freaking adorable. She's gonna come around the corner and run into a guy. She's gonna drop her toast and flash her panties. <laughs> Yay! If only I'd eaten my toast instead of just running around with it in my mouth. Whoa. My yaoi senses are tingling. Don't mind me, I was just hiding in a bush. As you do. Yeah, we're just fuck buddies. This isn't anime at all, they cleared up the confusion almost immediately. This should have gone on for another like five or six chapters. This area is. I mean. This area is protected. What about all the fire? Yeah, that'll destroy everything. Apart from the fire, everything's fine though. Oh, 1944, in the past now. Oh, she's wearing trousers. That's how you can tell. Oh. And she's got a video game screen. That's also how you can tell that you're in 1944. They stopped making those after the war. Eee, look at this sliding. <laughs> uh, that's never, that's never not going to be funny. It's always going to be the first thing I do with every single character. Is the is the weird shuffle. Stop. Hang on. There's nowhere to run. Hang on, let me just let me just consider you briefly. Don't don't run away whilst I've got my back turned, okay? So now we've got a cross-dressing plot. This is just ticking all of the boxes on every single anime stereotype. Um and cliche. Oh, we've got giant robots, we've got kids though, we've got naked kids in giant robots, we've got the running with the bread, we've got the panty flash. If at some point this, there isn't a magical girl transformation and the sun gl glinting off of a piece of metal and going shing at some point, I am going to be severely disappointed. Oh, and a guy pushing his glasses up his nose and then the, the light catching it so that it goes all white and you can't see his eyes anymore. That also needs to happen. Yeah. I dare you to time travel me. Ah! Dumbass. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I want to go eat my yakisoba bread. Bye. Damn 
damn it, I just really want to eat my... Ah, my yakisoba! Yakisoba <laughs> panga. It's like the genuinely distraught. <laughs> damn you! Look what you've done to my hair! My beautiful regent! Yeah! Here's my boy! Oh, he's gone into his fight stance. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do the same. I like when I wiggle him, his eyes look like they're jiggling about because they keep changing. <laughs> it's like i got like, googly eyes. Oh, I won. Oh, no, that means my boy lost. So oh, I guess we'll find out when we get to his story. There's 13 playable characters, and I know knowing my luck, he's going to be the 13th. Like, I'm going to have to play through all uh, the other 12 before I get to get to the one I really want to play as. What is my friggin' luck? I understand. <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, hang on, let's... <laughs> let's, let's halt the talk about all the future and robots. Tell me about this yakisoba pan. Finally. Oh, I know that feeling. I've eaten yakisoba pan and it's... It, I mean, it's not nice enough that I'd eat the wrapper, but... You know, you do you, dude. You do you. I mean, it'd be cool if we could see it. There we go, thank you. It shows a picture, that's fine. Like, it'd be cool if... When you attack stuff, it went into like a 2D, like in um, uh, Super Robot Wars. Like it went into like a 2D mode and you could see the actual attacks you're doing against it. It seems really weird to me for you for them to have designed these giant robots and then made this really beautiful looking game and then had then and then made them look like space invaders. Gathering meta chips from defeated enemies. And cooking them with meta fish, you can have a meta dinner. Mmm, delicious. Oh, why did they explode? Oh, he turned on the Aegis, okay. They've explained three of the four words in the title of this game. I still don't know what the rim, the Aegis Rim is, but the Aegis is the attack. Maybe the Aegis Rim is the, is the move it uses. The Aegis uses the Aegis Rim. 17 and 19? What happened to 13? Like, we're still in the tutorial and you've already gone beyond the title. This game's got 13 Sentinels. Just the video showing around and going, oh hey! And then just going, nope! And piecing out and sprinting down the corridor. I came back, I ran out of corridor. <laughs> Sorry, we're too close. Let me shuffle backwards slightly until we're at an appropriate distance, and there we go. Hello! Yay! This is the other character I kind of like. She's a Bancho. Uh, Lady Bancho. I don't know... Oh, what's the Lady Bancho called? They've got a, pro they've got a proper name. Sukiban! She's a Sukiban. You can tell because her skirt's really long. Which I never made sense to me because it's like if she gets into fights and stuff... Wouldn't a shorter skirt be easier for, like, kicking? Hey! Hahaha! <laughs> <laughs> you can look at this sexual tension, or possibly just actual tension. Just intervene. Use mystery points to gain access to sealed mystery files. Okay. Oh, I see. I, I have no mystery points, so I can't unseal anything yet. I suppose that's fair. I'm still in the prologue. Oh, of course she likes UFOs. Of course she'd go to that. My first thought would have been, hey, there's weird, strange men hanging around a, a high school, and they're, you know, hanging around girls wearing bloomers. So just perverts. Oh! I was just about to get naked. And I wasn't even going to pilot my mech.
Why would you bust into the women's girls' changing room? You good natured pervert. Yeah, so he's got the right idea. See, he's a good guy. But no, this isn't anime at all. What should have happened is he should have burst in while she was taking her top off and then fallen over and been nose deep between her boobs. That's what happens in anime. What's this, like, reasonable... reasonable like, no, what, she didn't slap him or punch him in and he disappeared into, like, a, a bling in the sky? Or... You know, there wasn't any misunderstanding or people getting all blushy. This is this is an anime. Hello, robot. Oh, you're you're forward. No way. Not on the first date. We've just met, you know. Take me to a dinner and a movie first. I am not an alien, I'm a robot. Yes, a robot alien. No. A robot alien. That's stupid. I'm a time travelling robot. Well, that's not optimistic. We're not going to comment on the burning hellscape behind us, no. See, they look cool. Why can't we just fight them whilst they look whilst they're, you know, stomping about like that, rather than just like little pixelated space invaders on a map? Well, the plus side is this is eight years in the future, which means you you were probably dead. By the time the aliens invaded anyway, because you would have been like 95, so... What I'm saying is it's not really your problem. It's like climate change. BJ, don't move. They, 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 they detect based on movement. <laughs> the robot's just like, damn, she ran away. Well, never mind. <laughs> Like, it's, it's so weird as well because they even, like, when you select the attack, it even has, like, a little video of the attack and what it looks like. Like, they've got all of this stuff to make this look like a really cool fight, and it's just not there. Oh, she's from, oh, she's from our future. Oh, Pigtails is from the future, too. God damn it. They're all from different time periods. It's confusing. That's 2024. It's like, man, can you believe Trump's running for a third term? Oh, crazy. Oh, she's a YouTuber. Scum. You'd think if 20, in four years from now, they would have moved on from YouTube and it would be like, I don't know. I don't know. If, if, I, if I knew what they would have moved on to four years from now, I would do it now and make loads of money. Obviously. Oh, umbrellas! Sorry. Oh. Well, that's okay. The thing about time travel is that as well as traveling forward, you can just travel back. It's like, ha, we'll we'll force shift him and go forward in time. Ha ha ha. And then as soon as he disappears, he reappears and goes, Well, thanks. I had time to fix my mech and come back. And it's like, dang it, I don't understand why that, that strategy didn't work. Oh, so Juro's from the future, but he had his memory erased and his name changed so that he thought he was from the 80s. I don't understand why, though. But okay. I mean, it's the, we're still in the prologue, so it stands to reason that I wouldn't understand. Uh, that, you know, that, that, that there'd still be quite a lot of stuff going on that I don't understand. What's up, kitty? Oh. <laughs> I was literally just about to make a joke. I bet the cat's behind it all, and then it started talking, and I was like, oh, okay. I, I should have made the joke. Because it would have been better. But now I, you just have to check my word for it. Oh, he's a magical cat. Oh, is he going to become my familiar and I'm going to become a magical girl? I told you there's going to be a magical girl in this. 
It's just straight up magical girl storyline. Come on, just make me tra make me a magical girl already. Maho Shoujo me up. Come on, the cat's contract. Oh, is this where is this where I get the split timeline? Oh, I'm definitely going to accept. Yes! This is it! Do it! Henshin! <laughs> like the idea that those three girls back there are going, Hey, so are we going to talk about that girl talking to that cat on the stairs over there? For the, like the last uh, five minutes? It's just, no, just ignore her. She's weird. Alright, she says she's from the future. Just, we don't want anything to do with her. Trust me. Alright, I'm almost to the end of the bro- I'm almost to the end of the tutorial. Two and a half hours in. Demolish a blade! Oh yes, let's go! I bet that looked really cool. Oh, in fairness, I can... Hang on, I can actually see what it looks like. Let's let's wait for the video to show. Look. Demolish a blade! So you just have to imagine that's what he's doing. What other moves can he do? Leap? Attack! Oh, it's like a Hulk smash. And then rush attack. Ora! 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 That's like my the rush attack is like my zero move attack. And yet it's it's it, it's like the one that looks like the most like a special move. Whatever, I'm just going to use another one of these. Let me just get undressed real quick. Yeah. I'm naked again. Nice to see you. Yes! Finally, we're going to get some crepes. Stop raising death flags, though. You can't go, hey, when this is all over, let's go get crepes. That's a good way to get killed and not get any crepes. It really is going to make me play through like all of the other characters before I get to the Bancho, isn't it? I have one mystery point. I can unlock one special file. So what do I want to know more most about? The time travel, the Deimos code, um, the UFO mysteries. No, the PE bag. Yes, a vinyls bag specific to the school. The material isn't the best. It's uncomfortable when it sticks to your skin on sweaty summer days, and it's cold to the touch during winter. Mystery point well spent. Hey, you leave my Suki ban alone. <laughs> he just punched her and ran and hid behind the girl, behind the Suki bat. But I will use her as a human shield, given the opportunity. Judgment Day! Dun 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 dun! Dun 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 dun! Do do do! Do do do! No! Is that the nurse? I can only tell, honestly, because of the boobs. That is a Black Widow pose right there. The Black Widow stance that lets you see both her ass and her boobs at the same time. Hey, how are you in a robot with your clothes on? Uh, that's, that's not how this works. Normally, you play through and you start to understand the story a bit more. I am understanding less and less as time goes on. Yeah, Yuki's the best. He's <laughs> like, come on! Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough! Ah, I'm playing as the hot toast guy now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I'm... I'm at the halfway point of playable characters. I will get my banjo, damn it! You will give me my banjo. Oh! Not just her time traveler, now I'm dimension shifting. We got aliens, we got ancient curses, we got time traveling, we got the whole lot! All I need is that magical girl! Maho Shoujo! Oh, did I have my phaser set to kill or stun? Let's take his gun. 
Oh, I had it set to stun. Good. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. I was literally making a phasers joke, and then you, and then you did, you just unironically just said the thing. It's literally called a phaser. That's good gun discipline there, by the way. That's how you hold a gun. Just tentatively hold it by the handle with your fingertips. That's the safest way to inspect one. If only I'd eaten that slice of slice of toast I knocked out of that girl's mouth earlier. Just because I was embarrassed about a uh, an indirect kiss. Oh. It's like that bit in... Um, oh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film where he goes to Mars. And then he talks to himself and he's like, Ha ah, ha, I'm actually a bad guy, but I erased my memories. And now you think you're a good guy. Take this pill and you'll go back to being me. Total recall. Total recall. It's like Total Recall. I have to pull out a tracker out of my nose. BJ away! It's like, uh... I have more questions now. We've finished the tutorial after this. But we've still got six more characters to play as. I just want the Bancho. More than anything. Oh, there's a little girl now. Oh, it's a little girl in an anime, so obviously she's much older than she appears. That's that's how these work. Hooray! A little over three hours in and I finished the tutorial. Select the battle style that best suits you. Oh, dang it, the, tra the, the trophies aren't in English. I was going to see if there was a trophy linked to difficulty, but... They, they haven't translated... Oh, this is what I get for playing the game early. So I've unlocked protagonist selection, but I still don't have... The Bancho. Just give me the Bancho! I just want to play as him! Alright, for lack of Bancho and Sukiban, let's uh, see if she becomes a magical girl. Cat, I have put on an apron. You will shush. Oh! The first witch I see! There is magical girls! Remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Come on, give me a magical girl transformation. It's all I need! It's the only stereotype we don't- we have left. Except for a tentacle monster, but I don't think that's gonna- I think that's asking for too much. Okay, it doesn't look that magical, I'm gonna be honest. And what I, I'm gonna be honest, it looks like I'm gonna artificially inseminate him. It's what it looks like I'm gonna do, but... Magical shoot! Do I not get a, I don't get a magical girl transformation. Damn it! I don't get a magical girl transformation. I don't get to play as the bad show. Just give me the things I want! Yes! Yes, I would rather it be a sparkly magical wand. Yes, I do want to put on a frilly pink spur. Yes, I do want to wave my magic stick around like some idiot. No, I don't agree with him! Damn it! I'm never going to be a Maho Shoujo! Uh, of course, well, Mario and Luigi, that seems obvious. Um, how about we have Toad? Oh, so, okay, Toad, so, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what should we have for the fourth character? Should we use maybe the iconic female character that we introduced at the same time as Mario? No, let's just have another Toad. Let's have Yellow Toad.